Hey, in this let's play I'll be playing the version 0.7 which is on Steam at the moment. But I'll be playing from code so uh, we may have a little sneak peek at some of the features that we're working on right now. For example the democracy feature. And I'll be choosing the fields of Tau City sandbox map. So we got a little farming uh, community here. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, two farmers. They can do a little bit of blacksmithing as well, uh, which you can see in here. So that will come in handy. I think my main priority is, well, of course, they will want to set up a radio hut and then we can find out what we can trade with the neighbor town. And the other thing is uh, let's get a farm plot going as soon as possible so let's just examine this here this area for the radio hut uh, i know that i'm going to need a, a campfire so let's just get them started on that i hate to see people standing around like that Campfire also requires some stones, so I'm gonna go and scout. Uh oh, it's one of these guys here. Hmm. I wonder if we can take it down. If we, I think we got one rifle. Yes. So let's hope that it will find use against that uh, whip jaw. I'm going to set up a patrol zone just to make it more safe is she hunting yeah what's she carrying uh, no she's not hunting she doesn't have any weapon this guy has the gun hmm. all right it looks like it disappeared so that's great uh, what else did we get the stones gonna get two yeah, let's just cancel this so we can free up some workforce. Uh, you should have a look at the new task manager, which is now a lot more useful. Uh, for example, you can set um, gather firewood. You can put that on, for example, you can put that on um, uh, high priority um, for all uh, new tasks of that type, which is very useful. So you don't have to go in and micromanage each time. Um, so what else? My um, main concern is getting a radio up now. And also let's start tilling that plot. The radio hut is requires spoke shingles that two one, two uh, different varieties you can choose from I'm gonna go for the improvised one it requires more maintenance but that's fine so I'm just gonna track that three shade leaf gains and two spoke leaves let's click uh, the inputs uh, so we can quickly refer back to that shade leaf gains I see some right here get okay, three no more no less all right this is the group meeting and it looks like they all kind of uh, agree that things need to improve and they're mostly um, complaining about comfort and food not so much about security i mean but still well of course comfort is at a zero percent so that's understandable so that should also be an important consideration to get some buildings um if we have a look we can see what is the immigration risk it's not that high actually it's three percent per day so i mean we should be pretty unlucky if that happened but it could happen then we were looking for spoke leaves. 
first we need the branches like that let's have a look at the campfire ready to place put it right here like that and our other main concern is what I want to do is I want to set this uh, radio hot up and I also want the landing to go up it, because uh, I want to order a barge and it takes some time for it to arrive and that barge should uh, carry with it um, hopefully some blacksmiths or some other useful people and we need some more people uh, but I would like to get the smithy up and running quick because it's pretty important just to get some iron tools for this farming community so that's my main priority getting some um, blacksmithing capability um, I want to make sure that we got our spoke branches before you go home with the machete here so let me have a look spoke branches we got one so we can make one spoke leaf I'm gonna need one more for for the radio hot we got our shade leaf canes then for the landing uh, we need water cane stems Do we have those water cane stems we don't have those so get them uh, there's a few right here like that and we got our fireplace uh, I'm not gonna use uh, my glassy creeper pots for cooking because uh, that's gonna be used as seed so but I can see there's some claim witch here that we could get so that would be nice to put in the pot so okay this guy again uh, I don't know maybe they will catch him this time I'm just gonna put a hunt order on him it would be nice to take it down <coughs> so get everything going here I'm gonna put the, the farm plot is almost half finished I think that these things could be high like that and I'm just gonna speed up pretty sure I can order the spoke leaf now no still being made to this there it is like that did we get our water cane stems yes we can get the landing done soon uh, he's hunting with the hoe hmm okay <laughs> good luck with that yeps uh, we got a farm plot tilled so let's get those seeds in the ground as quick as possible and I have a feeling we got a uh, spoke leaves so now I can should be able to put up the um, the radio hut here it is I'll just place it right here and you're doing the landing yeah yeah I mean um, as soon as we got this up then we can order a barge and then while we wait for those uh, immigrants then we can um, yeah focus on getting some good shelters for them uh, even though it's at zero percent we should still be able to get some people because there are some survival minded people out there all right one percent I can't wait but uh, first I'm just gonna save Yeah, the radio hut is done. So that means that since we already got the port location established as well, that means that we can go 
right ahead and order a run. So let's just do that. Select and then this is gonna be the endpoint and get the barge. Now I'm uh, excited to see who wants to join us. We got one here, two percent. Uh, yeah, and who else? We got two, two blacksmiths, no less. That's pretty good. So we can get started on uh, doing some blacksmithing. What we now need, of course, is materials for the blacksmith. So I'm just gonna look for the anvil that I know is a central part of the smithy. What else do we need? We need bar clamps and then we also gonna need a bellows here, bar clamps like that. And then what I also want for tools, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the uh, top of the line metal workers tool set. It's a bit better than blacksmith's tool set because it's got a drill in it. So we will be able to do um, um, gun barrels if we get that far. Let's also get some wrought iron just to get the ball rolling quick. And I'm gonna start this. So it will probably take a day or something like that for it to arrive. You can see the ETA. This is the new way they rewrite the calendar months. 180 years after planet fall and then month uh, six. So it's going to be a month is also a day in our game. That's how we do it. Here's a uh, spoke branches. I think what I want now is I want them to prepare some shelters so that we can get up from this horrendous 0% rating so we don't get a, a small rebellion on our hands I think people are still okay with living here I mean 4% per, um, a migration risk it's we can live with that but uh, let's see if we can get this place in shape I think uh, another thing I want to get is um, clay. It's going to be used for a workbench and a few other things. Mm. Oh my god, the food has dropped down to 0%. Okay. I think once these guys get up, then we should get some of these oil tubers here. So I'm just going to order that right now. Yeah get those things what else uh, are we ready to do the leaves thing spoke leaves and get some of those like that and um, I think uh, yeah I'm gonna put up a, a lean to let's see if it um, shows up sometime we still don't have enough uh, shelter we got it here Lean to lean to, and uh, we're gonna need sticks. Let's get those sticks, sticks, sticks. I'm just gonna get six of those while we add it. And how far did you get with uh, everything? Still trimming. There's a lot of work in that. Alright, people are up, so let's just... We don't need to go four times speed now. Did they get the uh, oil tubers? Let's get some breakfast. Like that, let's also get some soup. Some soup would be nice. And... Is this shelter ready? Uh, no, we still need a few leaves. What's going on? Yeah, it will come. Meanwhile, we can have a look at the map. Almost halfway, so we'll be here soon. Maybe we could also get uh, 
yeah actually i should probably focus some more on food um because people are gonna get hungry pretty soon so get the last one of those there's also a few here i think it's one i don't want to spot it because we can't eat them we don't have the enzymes that are needed to to eat those so yeah looks like he's working on the spoke leaves that means we can put up the shelter right about now whoops just put it up that looks like a good spot oh, what else have we got a lot of cooking i think i'm gonna put the cooking on high uh, as default this is a way to uh, yeah always make sure that they do this it's the most important thing and then what i also want to do is i'm going to put the maintenance on high uh, right now there are no maintenance tasks but they will appear once in a while and it's important that uh, these get carried out because else my uh, shitty survival sh shelters they will quickly break down if they are not man maintained properly so this guy is just standing around. Uh, are you still hungry? Uh, I'm still looking for more food. Did we miss some? Let me see. There's still one here. Okay. Uh, we could also get some of these uh, water cane seeds. I think, I mean, once we get the first crop of um, from the field, then we should be fine. Oh, they need firewood. That's important. The final showdown against the Whipjaw. Yes. Finally, they got it. Great. That was good to get rid of that thread. It's been lurking around here for so long. Firewood, firewood. Is there any here? Can I get that? Like that? I think, and this I want to put on high. It's already set to high. So that's fine. It's gonna have high priority. Alright, and um, yeah, food still has a high priority. And we can see that we got a fish wheel location here. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get that up as soon as possible. Sticks, sticks, we're gonna need a few of those. Um, we could, yeah, for meat, I mean, we could also shoot one of the turnip animals that are uh, walking around here, but we don't have the tool to uh, crack open the shell. So that's not gonna work. So let's turn to fishing instead. Uh, what's going on with the uh, firewood? Maybe they didn't have access to firewood. I'm gonna make another zone here. Let's get it. Seven of those. So important to get that. And uh, you can check them out. I mean, uh, even though you can see the overall one is red, that doesn't mean that he lacks food it just means that he has been starving and those effects are now lingering so um the boat has arrived so now we get people they're all here it's going to take a while before i put them to work as uh, doing smithing because i just want to get the food up and running first it has higher priority when we're so many and we can build this now so let's have a look that's not that many tasks so it's they will take that job as soon as possible uh meanwhile is there any little pieces of food uh here and there we could get, found some wild classy creeper and what else
Ah, let's just wait for this to happen. I'm pretty sure. Um, but uh, what would be good to get up now is uh, either a smoke oven or another campfire. I'm going to go for the smoke oven because it's just more... Yeah, it complements the campfire better, I think. So we can make uh, bigger batches of um, smoked fish. Um, I'm just gonna have a look here and see... Do we have everything it takes to make a smoke oven? We see it requires... yeah, we got everything more or less apart from the sod. So, he's getting that. How's it going with the fish weir? Who's, who's doing that? Let's just speed up things and get those things done. Maybe we even have a little bit of food that we could cook on oil chipper. Like that. Then we can do the smoke oven. I'm gonna place it. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Uh, in the middle, I think, is a good place here. Like that. Because there might also come fish from this creek here. You never know. Uh, maybe it would be good to just do a little examining, see what we got. Like that. And it's already up and running, so let's see what comes of that. Now, another thing that we can do in preparation for this huge and bountiful harvest that we're waiting for uh, is we could build a little oven to make hot tech. Uh, Let's have a look here. Oven, 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 oven. It's not uh, oven improvised. Yeah, it's just made from three stones. Um, I'm gonna go get that because I think it will be a good thing to get that up once we harvest. Uh, this food will. If we make hard tag, it will keep a lot longer than just porridge or whatever. So if we have some leftovers, yeah, it's just important to that the food doesn't spoil. Of course, the other thing now we should also uh, think about is when should we do the next farm plot? I think, well, not uh, in not too long, I think we should start preparing it. So. And I can see that people are just uh, waiting around, so let's get it started. I think we've got enough um, people actually to work. So, did he get some fish or not? Let me see. Yeah, he already caught five carbon tail. Uh, why is the smoke oven not up yet? Well, we can uh, just put it on the ordinary campfire. In fact, you need more fish to smoke it, I think. So, I'm just gonna do a few of these batches. Uh, does that go automatically high? Yes, it always has high priority. Because I put that on default earlier. So that's super important to do that. And they are carrying stones from way down there. Let's put that up. See if it's ready to place. Um, here. I'm gonna put it close to the field. Like that. Because it's gonna be... We're gonna be baking it from these pots that come from that field. Yeah. I wonder why they're 
uh, waiting with the uh, smoke oven. They need some sticks. We can't get them for some reason. No, yeah, he got them. Uh, all right, he got them. So now we just need her to put it up. I'll take this one. Yep, you do that. Okay, and this has already been tilled, so we can sow. Luckily, I kept some of these seeds instead of eating them and these guys they're safe because I don't have like I said I don't have a tool to uh, crack them open with but as soon as we get the smithy up I think that will have a high priority I'm gonna get the turnip cracker tool and if you don't know what I'm talking about um, you can have a look here turnip meat you need turnip cracker no, actually, I got the metal workers tool set. Wow. So, yeah, that's saw, hacksaw, that will work. I got that thing, so... Okay, well, I guess they're not safe anymore. I'm gonna kill you. Uh, I hope we still have some ammo for the rifle. Um, so, because uh, the rifle is the only thing that can actually penetrate the shell. Here's another fish wheel location. So, let's get that uh, up. Sticks, sticks. We always need sticks, and we also always we always need more firewood. So, get that as well. And there's some people who are a little bit hungry. Uh, now we can smoke in our smoke oven and the rest we can roast like that yeah we are out of fuel for the next update we are adding um, something called a peat uh, digging site uh, which will continuously supply uh, fuel for you. Uh, they can from this grass, these grasslands, they can get peat, which is a kind of a natural fuel. It just needs to dry a bit in the sun. So they're gonna look a little bit like mud bricks, but uh, I'm, I'll make sure to draw them so you can see the difference. But these, uh, those resource sites will be good because they will be more or less automated, the same way that uh, the fish weir is automated. Once it's up. You don't need to worry about it anymore. They, your colonists, they will go there by themselves and just check it and uh, get whatever resources are needed. So we'd like to get some more of those features in here. And uh, yeah, we we are looking at doing a clay pit, which works like that. And we will also probably do some ore digging site, an iron ore mine site, and yeah, we could do it with a stone quarry as well. So that way you're not going to have to micromanage as much. So I'll make it a bit more relaxed. But we're still in survival mode here. So uh, I'm going to do everything manually. <coughs> now what what's the thing with the fish weir location? Do we have the sticks or not? Uh, we're still needing some. So there, it will be more relaxing as soon as we got all of this uh, these food producing structures up. Then it will all become more relaxed, and then we can uh, focus on getting better houses. So that's my priority at the moment. Let's see what I don't. There's one thing that I'm gonna change now is that I'm tracking uh, the radio hot I don't want to do that like that um, did they pick up those sticks it's uh, inaccessible so that's the reason okay let's uh, move a bit further over here then like that and cancel that one and then we can speed up 
they need uh, they're gonna need firewood soon so yeah so firewood there's not that much left up there I think they're also gonna have to go a bit further for firewood at a later stage of course um, we will start using spoke branches and then uh, make firewood from those if you build the the wood pile structure uh, then you can quickly convert uh, spoke branches into firewood and they of course they regrow so that's an unending supply but for that we should make some more cutting tools uh, axes and such what else are we looking at we it's a little bit of fish Yeah, I think, I mean, the food situation should stabilize soon. So, once it's morning and uh, we get some more workforce. This dude, uh, they were supposed to hunt one of these guys, but um, something went wrong. So, let's try again. The, the other one escaped, but uh, let's see if they'll get this one who's up for that task no one has taken it yet well let's see oh there's one here which is a lot closer I actually I prefer that one so I think I'm gonna uh, cancel this task and then I wanna hunt that one it's more practical we can even turn it into a hut um so I'm gonna put that on high now and see if there's any luck. And now we should have sticks enough to start that task with the fish wear. How far are we with the crops? Uh, seven, two. That's actually today. So, food will be here soon. That's great. Who took the hunting task? She did. Where is she? She's eating. Okay. Well, all in good time. And now we're ready to harvest. So, yeah, make sure. No, it still needs to update. Okay, that was a sprite. Is uh, not updating correctly. Okay, now I can click. So there's a little bit of an offset. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna put that on um, high priority as well. Everything is on high. <laughs> yeah. Well, that should be fine. She's doing it. Wasn't she supposed to do the hunting? So who's doing the hunting? No one assigned. Okay. Well, I guess she um, she didn't think she was good enough to um, at that task. So that's how it goes. Let's see who picks it up. Rise and shine. Everyone, there's breakfast. Enjoy. Hey, I should put in. Um, we need some of this banter when they eat. Um, uh, I'm gonna make sure to put that those uh, um, lines of dialogue in soon. We just had so much to do, of course. So, so some of these cosmetic things they um, yeah we, they've had to wait because we were working with all these really complicated uh, interface things and everything hard tech these notches here each one of them represent one task uh, you can see if you do glassy porridge then it's gonna make a lot of tasks 
compared to hard tag which makes bigger batches and this has uh, this has an importance for how efficient it will be carried out because each of them each of these notches represent one task in the task manager and it's best not to have too many so uh, if you do order a lot of tasks then you're going to see a warning message up here these are some of the things that we've added because we've noticed that it's yeah some of these concepts can be um, difficult to know so we've worked a lot on, on giving this feedback to players so they can uh, manage it as, as smoothly as possible so one thing I think I forgot is to reso this field very important so let's uh, put that on high priority because yeah they sometimes you will see the little field quartites come and eat your uh, seed crop and that's pretty annoying um, another thing uh, let me have a look at the food production how's it going yeah mm, I guess we can make one more batch and still keep some some for sowing um, oh there's the dog I was wondering where it was I thought it had died that's good what's it called buster yeah good to have that around um, so I'm gonna have a look here and see um, now I'm gonna show you guys this is a new uh, maintenance uh, feature that we added recently uh, you can see that automatically uh, generates this and uh, now he's uh, up there improving this you can see the integrity goes down and uh, but if he gets there in, in time and uh, and and uh, carries out maintenance then it uh, should replenish and this is important when you have really shitty structures like I do then they will require a lot of maintenance so make sure you put that on um, high priority uh, like I've done um, yeah it's on high so everything is the way it's supposed to be is it done? it's already done yeah and now it's uh, up so that's how that works at the moment I'm not some of these maintenance uh, tasks they require a tool uh, you can uh, have a look and see what it requires tool options string this is how he fixes it so make sure you got some of that maybe we should get some more uh, just to supplement it uh, uh, let's see if we can find a vine I think it's a good idea to have some of these tools so they're not uh, they don't create these bottlenecks um, I think I mean uh, uh, stuff like cordage and knives I think it's it's good to have uh, enough for everyone because else you're gonna get these little logistical problems that they're not uh, as efficient as they could be when they have to share is it time to establish uh, our third plot I think so it would be I think it would be a good idea to get one more so I'd like to get some a uh, food surplus uh, we already on our way up there it's just nice to have some have enough food to fall back on it is more important than houses um, at the moment I think everyone is kind of okay with being here I mean they're all unhappy of course but still they, they're not gonna uh, immigrate because they have this survival personality a lot of them so they have very low principles you can go in here and check it out it's pretty low so uh, even though they're unhappy yeah, the risk is pretty low that they're gonna walk off if it if it happens they're gonna go to this spot called to the plains it's a land passage and then they're gonna you will see them say bye bye and then they're gonna disappear here and then you can see them show up uh, it's this neighbor site that you see next to this uh, which you cannot really interact with it but that's where they're gonna be um, settling if they are uh, discontent so that's how it's gonna work but let's hope it's not gonna come to that um, 
So um, let me have a look at how far we are. Uh, all right. So this is a group meeting. Uh, Lindsay, okay, she's uh, uh, not happy about living conditions. Yes, I know, because we haven't spent any time on it at all. So everyone is unhappy with, but that two people who are thinking of leaving for this reason. Uh, food and security, yes, that's a lot better. So, all right, so let's look at how to improve that. I think uh, we should start getting some clay now, and uh, so we can get some clay houses up. Um, I'm just gonna click on clay here and see if we found any. There are some deposits right here. So let's start um, gathering up a bit of that little by little. I mean, it, it doesn't have extremely high priority. Maybe we should just get a few of the crappy shelters first because it can take a little while to do the, um, the clay huts. So I'm just gonna put up one more of these. Yeah, it's about time, I think. So, um, um, let's see. Hot tag. We got. So now we got a little. Um, uh, another thing that we are going to add soon is standing orders. You notice that each time I need to go and order food. But we're working on a, a functionality where you can just click a button, probably going to be shaped like a padlock or something, and then it will have a standing order of 10 carbon tails, and that means that they will um, produce uh, smoked carbon tail uh, whenever you eat it, uh, the, so they will uh, maintain that um, um, amount in your stocks. That way you won't need to go and uh, micro it each time. So yeah, I'm looking very much forward to that uh, feature. Let's see. Um, let's got started on the spoke leaves here. We could also a uh, quick shelter, of course. We could make them from daisheen leaves. Maybe we should get that just so they have a nice place to sleep. Uh, Daishin Tipi requires two. Let's just make one of, the, one of those. Because the, the clay huts can take a little while to produce, we need to make a kiln. Uh, I'm wondering right now whether a good thing would be to get the smithy up that way we could make more tools for that. I think now is a good time for that because then we can uh, um, just get the get them some more tools and everything should uh, go quicker. Uh, have you seen some of these simple mod breaks? Yeah, yeah. We can get mud bricks, and um, we just need one of these uh, uh, brick molds to make that. You uh, you're taught this in the new uh, scenario that we just released, called the clay pit. You know everything about mud bricks if you played through that scenario. So uh, that will prepare you for that. I can see that this plot is ready to sew, so let's get that done. And meanwhile, get some more clay, because we're gonna need it. Like that, something like that. And he's doing the brick mold. Um. Tools got that. So now we're ready to do the mud breaks. I hope. Lm. Here it is. It appeared. 
and I'm gonna put a marker there because I wanna keep track on that. Um, of course, I mean maybe we should just build, go ahead and build a kiln. That way we can produce these mud bricks a lot quicker. And this is also something that you learned in the first uh, sin or the second scenario called the clay pit. Gonna need stones for the kiln, and I'm going to go and um, track the kiln like that. I want to see what goes into that. Um, four clay and one stone. So we should be there soon. Yeah, the clay is coming. It is coming. So, what do we still need? One more. And another one that I want to track is the smithy. Like that. So, I want to see what goes into that. For that, we need also mud bricks. I think not enough people are working on gathering clay. I think maybe it's because I don't have enough tools. I should get uh, uh, just a simple stick for clay pit. Yeah, this is one of the new functionalities. You can see there's two ways of getting it. Um, so we can make a simple trowel. Uh, it's basically just a stick that you can dig with if, if you don't have anything else. Uh, but we don't even have any sticks. Okay. Sticks we should always have. Uh, I mean, you use sticks for everything in this game. So, I want to make sure we have a supply of sticks. Like that. And in the meantime, yeah, there's still uh, uh, huh? What's going on? We need a secondary tool, yeah, yeah. We need that trowel actually to build the kiln. So this has now become the bottleneck. Okay. And uh, the smithy, yeah, it needs mud bricks. So. Let's go and get those um, uh, trowels. I'm going to make four so everyone can get digging. Put that on high. So what else are we looking at? Uh, is everyone fine with food? Mm. I'm gonna keep some of that glassy uh, creepers. Oh. I'm not gonna make all of them. I want to keep some. It's really bad form to use uh, your seed crop because what if something happens? All right, let's have a look. Did they get those? Yeah, they got those trowels up now. So I'm gonna put the kiln over here and then I can start making shaping the mud bricks uh, let me see mud bricks yeah let's get those like that and I bet that we're going to need firewood soon. Actually, I should put a, a tracker on that because it's so important. Well, we got 10. So. Can they do the kiln before they go to sleep? Or what is it? Clay. Oh my god, I used all the clay for mud bricks. No, 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 no. That was wrong. Bad idea. 
I'm gonna cancel that now. I wanna do the dangerous area. Yeah, but it's next to the uh, quartite nest. I'm going to cancel it because it's gonna be a problem. So I will play instead. I will place it a bit further away from that nest. Um, I mean, I could probably place it, but I would have to patrol all the time to keep it safe. This area here, and until we can blow it up with some black powder, yeah, it's just gonna stay there because black powder, saltpeter, charcoal, sulfur. Not right now. Maybe later. So, where are we now? Still put that on high like that. And uh, prepare food. Make a few fish. We got so much smoked uh, fish, so that's really nice to see. We're not gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna save it up for smoking. It's better that way. See this guy, he always, he escaped again. If I look under carcasses, I think it's because I must have run out of uh, ammunition for the rifle. Yeah, no, here, black powder rifle ammo, I have enough. It's, uh, okay, so there's no excuse. Well, let's see, next time I'm gonna keep an eye on it. See what's actually happening. Well, it's not like we need food at the moment, so we should be fine. Let's get some of those mud bricks for the um, for the smithy. Actually, no, because I don't want to uh, do the same thing as last time. So let's make sure they get started here first. And everyone is sleeping, so. Yeah, in the next uh, in the next update, we're going to have uh, this functionality where this is called democracy feature, where they will unlock higher tiers. Now I'm playing an old version where I can make all of the um, buildings uh, at once, but uh, from the next version, you will see that uh, some of the more advanced buildings. They will require that your uh, colonists actually want that to happen, and it, that will it will work that way. That the unhappy people they will vote for that to happen, and then you can uh, then you can raise your text here, and that will allow you to do uh, buildings such as the clay hut. And uh, is it means that you move up from survival level to a higher tech level. So um. It's gonna be very exciting to see how that uh, how that will work and how what it will mean for gameplay. So I'm very excited about it. Uh, also, because I think it's a very good simulation of how uh, the human um, what, how humans actually think. If they are unhappy with something, then they will uh, work uh, to improve things and they will try to convince each other that. Uh, that we should uh, make some better uh, conditions and uh, just improve on whatever it is that is on their mind and this all comes down to their personality of course because some are very security minded she's mostly uh, worried about food uh, some uh, they all have different uh, priorities different principles so they all want their own agenda um, to be um, taken into consideration so that's how it's gonna work let's see if there's any luck with the hunting come on yeah kill it did she kill it no um, she's going back to reload maybe yeah all right we will get it eventually 
Uh, we, um, how's it going with the mud bricks? Um, I'm gonna um, start gathering some more because we're gonna need a bit more clay at least for those houses. But I think I'm gonna put up the smithy first. Whoops, this needs to be harvested. I'm gonna put harvest on high. Like that. And then I want to see whether I can build the smithy now. Yes, I can put it up. That's great. Uh, what would be a good place? Maybe next to the kiln, because that's where the charcoal is going to come from. So let's put it here. Yeah, it's going to uh, speed up things when everyone gets nice steel tools. So looking forward to getting that up, get the blacksmiths to work. 